Michi, Ale, Michi, tutto, tutto quello che hai, tutto, Ale, tutto Michi, tutto è buono, eh, tutto. Italian cycling is passion and emotion. It is drama and performance. It is theater, it is authenticity. Impossible to define, but instantly recognizable. Italian cycling is a combination of races, mountains, cities, countryside. It is courageous riders and impassioned fans. A few names stand as the foundation of all of this, the names that support its beating heart. These are the pillars of Italian cycling. been a Castelli guy ever since I was 15 years old, I think I was, when I bought my first Castelli jersey back in the Bike Gallery in Portland, Oregon. I still remember when I was 10 years old and had to work in my dad's garden, do the gardening for about six, seven weeks. I think it was about three weeks I had to work at the bookstore to save enough money for it. Um, but I still have it today, of course. Before I could afford a pair of Castelli shoe covers, uh, it was probably my first, you know, Castelli product. The history for Castelli actually goes back to 1876, when a little tiny clothing shop, tailor shop in, in the center of Milan. Owned by a guy named Victoria Gianni. He was starting out uh, supplying the ballet of Milan and AC Milan. And really got big into cycling back in the 1910s with Alfredo Binda. Uh, Bobe, Coppi, Bartali were wearing the Castelli brand. Uh, the Castelli name came to be when Maurizio Castelli kind of had a bit of a falling out with his father and Maurizio Castelli went out and, and started the Castelli brand name with the Scorpion. Uh, that's a little bit of a longer story how the Scorpion came to be, but it seems to be somehow there was a, a, a mistress uh, who was in the zodiac sign of the Scorpion. I haven't really been able to get to the bottom of how that one <laughs> really came out. So now she's cutting out, as you can see, the bib short the one piece of fabric that would go around the rider's body as again as it was painted on. One piece of fabric, one seat pad, the bibs, the, the open mesh on the back, and, and a little bit of lycra on the front. The body paint shorts, yeah. As, I mean, I don't think anyone can tell it better than what Heinrich Hauser said. It feels like riding naked. Heinrich has been a, a key uh, feedback person for us from the GABA jacket for racing in the, in the cold or wet weather. Uh, right down to the San Remo speed, so it was really was designed with Heinrich in mind. Uh, un altro del, uh, dei, dei miei più bei successi è stato il decimo posto in classifica generale al Tour de France nel 1999. Cos'è il Race Performance Director? Una persona che fa da tramite e uh, cerca di sviluppare nel miglior modo possibile l'abbigliamento di high performance per uh, il ciclista di massimo livello, perché qui in Castelli eh, non vediamo l'abbigliamento solo come un, un capo d'abbigliamento colorato dove attaccarci su vari sponsor e loghi di una squadra. Mauricio ha a lot of good, good ideas, a lot of crazy ideas as well, always thinking ahead of time. He invented the Lycra shorts. With the first colored Lycra shorts. He was the first one, person to bring sublimation printing into cycling clothing to introducing also full skin suits that spirit of innovation the goal to make the best clothing in the world is what is what drives us today and it's a pretty fun thing to get up in the morning for the aero race jersey that compared to a standard jersey can save up to 12 12 13 watts this is what we have found back in the old archives from their office in Milan. Some of the drawings of some of the first aerodynamic tests or testing that uh, Mauricio Castello has been doing. They are 1981. They were doing uh, the testing on, uh, to make to reduce the aerodynamic drag. Most of us aren't going to go out there and win the Tour de France. Actually, Garmin hasn't done it yet either, so <laughs> maybe we'll edit that part out. <laughs> so so you know, even, even if your goal isn't to win the Tour de France, uh, Going fast on a bike is a lot more fun than going slow. So 
That's what we're trying to do. Every time you go for a ride, you should be getting an unfair advantage. When we go, for example, riding, and we feel there's something that needs to be changed to the garment, we would then ride our bikes into this office and then sit on the bike and show it directly to them what needs to be changed. He will take the measurements or his team will. They'll do the changes and put it directly into the computer and go to the ladies in production. Maurizio Castelli is, uh, was you know, the founder of the Castelli brand, but remains a heart and soul of the company today. And his singular goal back then was uh, to make the best clothing there was for cycling. It's not just about if you're doing cycling clothing, we want to make the best, and this is what you know keeps us striving every day. So even the pros will come back and say, "Yo, this is this is perfect." Mm -hmm.